Now, he helped unravel one of the greatest enigmas in physics, earning his place alongside names like Isaac Newton and Albert Einstein. The father of the so-called God Particle, the Nobel Prize winning physicist Peter Higgs, has died age 94. The University of Edinburgh says he passed away peacefully in his home. Higgs was famous for his groundbreaking theory from the 1960s, which proposed a new particle known as the Higgs boson. He argued that the boson helped bind the universe together by giving particles their mass. Decades later, his theory was proven by physicists working at the Large Hadron Collider in uh, CERN in Switzerland. He was honored with the Nobel Prize for Physics in 2013. I'm now joined by Joseph Incandela, distinguished professor of physics at the University of California, Santa Barbara, and the scientist who announced the discovery of the Higgs boson in 2012. So if you could take us back to that moment, professor, what was it like to announce that discovery with Peter Higgs in the audience? Well, obviously it was a tremendously exciting uh, moment and uh, perhaps one of the biggest moments in our, in our field for many decades. And, um, I wasn't absolutely certain that Peter would be there until shortly beforehand. Um, and, uh, well, we were just very happy that he could be there. I saw, I saw that you showed a little clip of him wiping his eyes. He was very emotional at the time when we announced the discovery. Uh, I was representing the CMS experiment, which I show in the picture behind me here. And Fabiola Genotti was representing the Atlas experiment. And together we both had very strong evidence for the particle that he proposed almost a half a century earlier. Um, so it was a long road to get there. Now, before we continue, could you please help some of our viewers understand exactly what the importance of the discovery of the Higgs boson meant for physics? It was a very key part of our understanding of how, how the fundamental forces and particles exist. Uh, what we do in particle physics is try to understand the really the most basic elements of nature, which are the fundamental particles, and the forces. And we developed over much of the early uh, 20th century uh, a pretty good understanding of, of how this all worked. And um, one piece though, one piece of the puzzle was trying to understand how some of the force carrying particles could have mass. And in fact, how any particle could have mass. That became suddenly a stumbling block for any, any uh, you know, real, completion of our understanding of the universe. And it's extremely important in the sense that if you don't have massive particles, for example, if the electron were massless, then there could be no atoms. Uh, we would not exist. And it turns out that this ability to, to create mass uh, from particles occurred early in the universe. The universe wasn't essentially uh, able to do that initially, mm -hmm. but a transition occurred. And this is, uh, this is really what's now known as the Broad angler higgs mechanism. And there's a particle associated with it, which as you mentioned was the Higgs, it's called the Higgs boson. Mm -hmm. And uh, that particle has often been referred to as the God particle or also the Higgs boson, but we know that Mr. Higgs was never really comfortable with that term. What does that tell us about the man? He was incredibly humble um, and I don't know if he was religious, frankly, but he was he was a remarkably um, decent, well-mannered, personable. I mean, he was just wonderful. Um, we all uh, loved him in the field. Um, and um, at the time of the discovery, uh, he was asked to speak and he said, you know, just showing his humility, uh, today is for the experimentalists who, who discovered this. You know, you can talk to me some other time. Um, he, he was a wonderful guy. Yeah. Very and humble. It and there was almost 50 years between Mr. when Mr. Higgs proposed the Higgs boson and its discovery. Why exactly did it take so long? It was really hard, actually, um, <laughs> to discover the Higgs. I think there were generations of scientists, including me, who most of our career, you know, that was one of the biggest goals one could imagine, is finding the Higgs boson. Um, it took an accelerator that was, you know, built at CERN that's, you know, something like 27 kilometers in circumference. We had to go to extremely high energies, incredibly no high number of proton-proton collisions. And I estimated that, you know, our signal that we found the Higgs with, the, the discovery was something like a few hundred proton-proton collisions. And that was out of 1 billion million total collisions. So it was really very difficult to find. And it took very dedicated 
experiments with thousands of physicists. Um, many, many people uh, contributed to this. And um, and it took, well, as I said, it took almost a generation to prepare and find this, uh, this, this particle. It was truly an astonishing discovery and an astonishing work. That was Joseph Incandela, Distinguished Professor of Physics and the Vice Chancellor for Research at the University of California, Santa Barbara. Thank you very much for your insights. Yeah, thanks. thanks for having me.